How you doing guys? I'm Gary and this is a Coat Drama. Evening folks and welcome to an episode of Going Around the Blends where we have a little look at some of the blended malts and scotches that we've got here in Scotland. Um, tonight I'm going to grab a, <laughs> a wee uh, all of famous grouse. Um, my good friend Ronnie um, has been nagging at me quite recently um, about the famous grouse. Um, it's not a whiskey I um, I uh, engage with quite a lot but purely because Ronnie was having his uh, wee nagging session at me I thought I'd put some in the glass and have a little chat and basically a peas rub. Um, so we'll pour some in there and uh, we'll have a wee dram of it. Now, um, famous grips. As I said, we're talking about blends tonight. So this one is a blended scotch. Um, so there we go, blended scotch means that it is a blend of both malt whiskey and grain whiskey um, and they can come from uh, a number of distilleries. In the case of the famous grouse, um, it is, um, the whiskey in itself is owned by um, part of the Edgerton group. Um, they have a number of distilleries in it and they're quite open that within the famous grouse there is McCallan, there is some Highland Park, um, there is some Glen Rothes, there are other whiskies, there's a great whisky all uh, compared uh, in this blend. Um, famous Grouse is reported to be the um, most popular selling whisky in Scotland. And uh, doing a lot of research online, in 2020 there was apparently 43 million bottles of the famous grouse sold worldwide and um, it's not an expensive whiskey guys it is pretty much um we're not talking about bottom shelf style whiskies here but it's not an expensive whiskey i think um a 70 cl bottle is somewhere in the region of 15 pound and um, check it out at your local supermarkets so it's not expensive um but as a whiskey, it's probably one of the longest um, running named whiskies in Scotland. Um, originally just called The Grouse, and then apparently in 1905 it got so popular um, that it was renamed, and I think it was sort of um, the name was patented as The Famous Grouse, and that was in 1905. And here we are, what's that, um, 95, 115, 16, 17 years later. And um, yeah, you can still pick up the famous grouse. It does come in some slight different versions. Um, I've got another one here, just, we'll talk about this one on another episode. But a, what's that one called? The Black Grouse, um, which is a, I think it's a Peter version, but we'll have a look at that later. I think there's some ruby cask versions, there is a snow grouse version, again we'll look at those in other episodes. So this one is just your uh, bog standard if you want for another uh, use, another term is the famous grouse, it's a wee sniff. Nothing unpleasant on the nose, nothing complicated. Sweet, milky, now two of the whiskies we mentioned already were McCallum and Glen Rothes, Space Sides, um, there's maybe a bit of that Space Sides uh, influence in it, a little bit fruity. I think it's 40%, I'm not even going to look, 40%. So there's no nose burn or anything like that. Let me see. Hmm. 
honey. Speyside fruits, orchard fruits, apples, pears. Um, there's no burn to it. There's a little bit of finish, but nothing massively there. Um, maybe some slight aniseed to it. Um, I'm going to use these lovely terms of it's well balanced in relation to the nose um, to the palate. How it's tasting there in the finishing. It is, you know, if we use the term well balanced, there's there's no overpowering nose to a palate or anything like that. Um, it's just it's not complicated. No. It's a decent dram, it's got decent whiskies in it, um, and it's fifteen pound. Uh, it's uh, I've heard somebody maybe use the term guard whiskey. It's maybe one of the ones you put in front of your shelf. And your guest comes round, um, and uh, they're not particularly a whiskey drinker, but they want one. You might pour some of this rather than go to the back of the shelf and get some of your finer whiskies out. So you leave that one on guard at the front there. And maybe that's what you want to use it for. Given to that everyday guest who's maybe not necessarily the whiskey drinker, they're never going to be a whiskey drinker, but they just want you know, they just want a wee drama. So, yeah. Um, Famous price, fifteen pound. Yeah, if you want to give it a cut, please do. Will that suit you, Ronnie? Slander.